Our predictions for 2010 are more of a forecast of what we think is going to happen in the world of photography. Coming up on this edition of the Carolina Photography Podcast, episode number 10. Hello, everyone. My name is Jaeger Yancey Tedder for Carolina's Photography, and I am going to be your host today on the Carolina's Photography Podcast, episode number 10. At least I hope we're on episode number 10. I haven't checked the numbers out, and I don't have much of anything in front of me. Uh, in case you can't tell, this is kind of a free-flowing blog type podcast uh, nothing too official or concrete just some thoughts and views on the photography world and things that kind of relate to cameras pictures people all that sort of stuff uh is what we go over here on the carolina photography podcast also on the show i'm gonna have uh <clears throat> because people have been asking for some cool links and things to check out my favorite site revision three has this awesome show on i'll tell you about that at the end of the podcast and if you want to get in touch with me 843-230-9671 is a phone number you can set up any appointments ask any questions about anything carolinasphotography.net might have featured also oh that's my favorite word you hit and ring a bell if you're playing along at home every time i use the word also also on today's show the forecast what on earth is possibly going to happen in the coming years with your photos so let's get right down to it. CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, which is sort of uh, the big trade show where all the industry giants and consumer electronics just has to show, show's name states, roll out all their new gadgets and gear for the upcoming year or so. A lot of tech demos, 3D TVs, which I think is kind of overrated, is one of the big things. But it got me thinking about the forecast of the future for how you might be enjoying photos and digital picture frames are here to stay, I think, and they're just getting better and better. But I started to wonder, I don't see much of an end for this kind of thing. There's, there's just no end in sight here. You have picture frames that can display hundreds of photos that just keep constantly rotating them. TVs are now enabled to take your digital memory cards of pictures, uh, your cell phones, of course, I have pictures on my phone and as well as uh, portable gaming devices to display photos. It just seems like you're never too far away from having photos within arm's reach, whether you're home or out abroad, to show people, which is kind of an interesting thing. It just doesn't seem like photos are going to be contained only in your workspace or home any further, which I know, not a shocking assessment, but think about this. Uh... I would say maybe in the early 2000s, there wasn't a ton of this. Okay, so for a decade, 10 years, that's quite the leap to take. And uh, how photos digitally distribute it, including how we do it. I mean, you don't even have to get prints nowadays. You can just get it right off of your computer with the carolinasphotography.net. And I just kind of got to say, this is one thing I don't really have much of a problem with. People being able to show off photos in more ways. Cameras? The forecast for that looks like more and more megapixels for the future. But as I say over and over, and I always preach this, do not get hung up on camera photo sizes going by how many megapixels are listed on the box. It's a bullet point that's there. It looks nice. There's more than one thing happening. I'll look at the image processor inside of the camera whenever you're looking for a new camera. And maybe just cut me a call, 843-239-671. And oh yeah, reviews on the websites, go with them. Do as much research and homework as possible. Even when, hey, that's advice for whenever you're buying anything. Okay, so the forecast looks nice for digital distribution and it looks nice for new ways to display photos on umpteen devices. Hey, I even saw a screen on a refrigerator the other day at an electronic store, so more places to put pictures I just have no problem with whatsoever. If you want to get in touch with me, Carolina's Photography, uh, net or Carolina's Photo at gmail.com. And before we go, one site to check out on this super duper quick podcast because I actually got things to kind of work on here besides talking into a microphone in a room all alone. Not that I don't like hanging out with all of you. Revision3.com has a show entitled Film Riot. Now this show is sort of mainly for uh, people who kind of are into the film school and aspects of learning production, even special effects and camera tricks. Ha ha, but that's why I bring it up. Camera tricks. 
check out a couple of episodes uh there's a few links on vision 3 where they give you some awesome video camera tricks they also translate there's my word again into the still photography realm so that's very cool to check out my name is jaeger yancey tedder and i will speak with you all a little bit later on in live thanks for listening to the carolina photography podcast So you've just got a spiffy brand new digital picture frame capable of displaying over a hundred of your fondest memories on a digital LED monitor. But wait, you know something's missing. And you know it's not just your photos, but photos that beg to be displayed on that LED digital goodness. Pictures like the ones that Shannon and Jessica got done for their wedding day. You try to plug in that picture frame and try to just forget about it. It's all in your head, right? But wait, one more time. It's just not all in your head. Before you try to load in those photos, you remember the pictures you saw from the Stone family featuring their kids in all their photographic glory? Now we know your family's gorgeous too, but there's no denying that the last family photo session was shot by a guy in a department store who couldn't turn on the camera without the help of his supervisor. Heck, even Ashley's 25th birthday bash, an 80s party throwback dress up theme party shot in Drunken Vision has cool looking shots. It's time to make a move to the Carolinas, as in Carolinas photography. Now that picture frame can put on a slideshow 24-7. Display that image, digital picture frame. Display it. <laughs>